In 2.4, we're gonna be talking about this idea of the degree of connectivity of our relationships. So we're gonna talk about unary, binary, ternary, quaternary, and more generically, innary degrees of connectivity. So this is gonna seem, hopefully, pretty straightforward at this point. It's almost gonna seem a little bit silly that we're even talking about it, but this is gonna come back up in a couple of uh, a couple of lectures and it's gonna kinda of click into some other concepts. So uh, just kinda of keep that kicking around in the back of your head. So to get started, we're gonna talk about binary relationships, which is the simplest. We're not starting with one, we're starting with two. And we say binary relationships have a degree of two, which just simply means there are two entities involved in the relationship. So in this case, pilot flies a flight, or we could read it in the other direction and say a flight is flown by a pilot. Okay, so these are our entity types, and then we have instances of these entity types that are in relationships with one another. So an instance of a pilot, Captain Smith, flies an instance of a flight, DL3412. Captain Johnson flies flight UA443, Major Tom flies flight DB2016. Okay, so this is, or we could say another direction, DB2016 is flown by Major Tom, right? Binary works in either direction, just two uh, entities involved in this relationship. Taking it up one level to ternary relationships where we have a degree of three, it's just we have three entities participating in this relationship. Okay, so a professor teaches a subject in a course. Okay, so we have our subjects like Business Analytics 6354, but the course is like a particular section of that, right? So you have a professor, you have a subject, and you have a course, and you have to have all three of those come together to have you know, this meeting where we're all gonna be getting together uh, discussing things, right? So Grimes teaches database in MIS 3376 section one, Grimes teaches database in MIS 3376 section two, Knighton teaches database in 3376 section three, right? So we have different instances of these entities, of these three entities uh, to create, you know, something we're interested in. That's a ternary relationship. Moving on, Predictably, a quaternary relationship is just going to have a degree of four. Or there's going to be four entities participating in this relationship. So in this case, a uh, physician prescribes a medication to a patient for some particular ailment, right? So quaternary, four entities participating in a relationship, and we could just keep going on and say quintary, hexary, septary, octary, like there's really no limit to how many entities could participate in a relationship or what the degree of that relationship would be, right? The degree just being how many entities are in the relationship. So unary, binary, ternary, quaternary, at a certain point, we just generically say n -ary, where n is just a variable, right? That represents the number of degrees in a relationship, okay? So, this idea of the degrees of a relationship is gonna come back in a slightly different form when we start talking about relational data modeling, uh, which I think is in two weeks, okay? So keep in mind that we're gonna be coming back around to what right now is a very simple concept, number of entities in a relationship. But before we do that, we haven't talked about the unary relationship where we only have one entity uh, participating in a relationship, right? And it's kind of a special thing that we call a recursive relationship, where an entity is in a relationship with itself. And where this comes in handy, uh, if you think about the relationship between an employee and their manager, well, are employees and managers really two different things? Or is a manager really just an employee who is in a supervisor relationship with another employee, right? Because if we created separate entities for like entry level employees and managers and executives and you know on down the line, we wind up with a really convoluted data structure where we have all of these entities that 
have the exact same attributes because as far as employees go, we want to track the same core attributes about an employee, whether they're a, a manager or not. And we lose a lot of flexibility, right? But in reality, an employee or a manager is just an employee that supervises another employee. And this example is from the book where we have nurses and head nurses, but there's just one nurse entity. And the difference in a nurse and a head nurse is that a head nurse is just a nurse that supervises another nurse, right? And this complicates our data modeling a little bit and it complicates our SQL a little bit. It's not as easy to deal with unary relationships as it is binary relationships or any other inary relationships. However, this uh, recursive relationship gives us a lot of flexibility to be able to um, very easily kind of change hierarchies and add different levels of management and expand in any direction. Okay, so this actually winds up being a very useful data modeling concept. And we're going to see more about this as we start getting into writing our SQL code. But the takeaway for right now is just to uh, realize that we can talk about the degree of a relationship and the degree of a relationship just means how many entities are participating in that relationship. Is it unary, binary, ternary, quaternary, or just generically inary uh, degree? And one more thing that I will point out as we're getting deeper into this discussion of relationships and I mostly point this out because the book uses this and uh, it might be a little bit confusing if I didn't bring it up. I don't see this used a lot in the real world, but occasionally we will uh, kind of write a description of how we should read this on these lines between the entities and the relationships. Uh, so pilot is the captain of a flight. Flight is commanded by a pilot. A uh, pilot is the member of the crew of a flight, and a flight has a crew member including a pilot. We could also just say pilot flies a flight, and flight is flown by a pilot. The words that are put on these lines uh, don't have any technical meaning and any technical significance. Um, and similarly, the names that we put in these relationship diamonds don't have any technical significance. Because in relational databases, we don't assign names to the relationships. Uh, now the names of our entities, that is going to correspond hopefully to the names of the tables that we create in the database. So a little bit more significance there, uh, but all these things on the lines are just kind of labels to help us hopefully understand a little bit better. And that's it for module 2.4, unary, binary, ternary, quaternary, inary. The degrees of connectivity is all about the number of entities participating in a relationship.